Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre-Market Report for April 13th, 2017. I'm Frank Ochoa, a.k.a. Pivot Boss. Uh, this is the last trading day in the week before the holiday shortened week. We have um, a couple of days here in the week that have had some pretty wide ranges. And now that we are heading into the final trading day of the week on a holiday shortened week, we may see a pretty quiet day. Now, that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, I think this key level right in this zone is going to tell us a lot. 2330 has been important. In the trading room, we know that if price gets below 2330, there's high odds that we're likely going to test the new low below 2370, 1775s. Um, and if we do get down in that area anywhere into 2300 to 2310, it could be a great buying opportunity back toward 2353. So that's going to be something that we'll be watching out for. Um, again, this this is shown. Uh, some lower highs here. It has a lot of energy built up. And one last thing, regardless of which direction we go here, uh, we're building up some clear energy in the middle of this key range. That's the middle 50%. I call this a neutral key range. Those neutral key ranges build energy and usually lead to significant expansion down the road. Given the overall trending direction of this market, I would anticipate that we'd likely see an upside break. And if that were to be the case, we'd have upside targets into 2424, 2460. Uh, otherwise, any failure to hold 2300 will, will change the picture for us. So right now, a lot of energy being built up. Once we get past this week here, next week, perhaps we may begin to see signs of expansion at some point. All right, well, let's take a look here at the intraday time frame. Here we go. On an intraday basis, the Price is mainly chopping around the previous session's close, a little above, a little below, above, below, and now price is getting back above that uh, previous overnight close, overnight low rather. So right here could be an early indication that we could squeeze right back up toward 42 to 45, uh, and right now fading the edges, fading the edges is the light, likely approach until proven otherwise as this thing tries to establish some sort of a range down here for the day. Now, if we take a look here at the crude oil chart, the higher time frame chart will show that crude has been extremely, exceedingly bullish, exceedingly bullish here lately. The power of a short squeeze, see how relentless it's been. Um, and recently, we just came into 53.40. That's our, our key level above. So we're into that level in one, two, three days now. Three days of sideways action. We have a narrow day already today, currently 65, below 65% of ADR. So um, what I mentioned to our group is that now that price has gotten a significant squeeze and has pushed back above the 5171, 52 zone, uh, you can see we have a, a trading range that has built out to the left over here. We've pushed back into the center of that range. Any pullback, even into 51s here, could be a buying opportunity for a shot at 51s. That could be the next swing move ahead. So it could be a four-handle opportunity from 51 up to 55. It depends on how much of a pullback we get in CL. But any pullback shy of that 5106 could be a great opportunity to push this thing higher. So we'll see how this plays out. But right now, very narrow range, likely to see a lot of fade the edges type of action here today as we head into the holiday extended weekend. So right here, the intraday chart shows that price pushing higher, quietly trending up right now, slightly sloping uh, VWAP. So that implies a, um, a bullish approach right now. So any pullback likely to be bought into VWAP for a shot at new highs toward 53.35 to 53.40. Any push into R3 might be overextended and it could be an opportunity back toward VWAP. All right, let's take a look at gold futures here. Gold and ZB have seen big time squeezes here. And I mentioned before that I thought we might have seen a, a pivot top. I thought we might have seen a pivot top right here. And I mentioned to watch the 63 to 65 zone for signs of rejection here. And, um, you can see that level was just smashed right through there by price. It just went right through that zone, right through the midpoint, right through value, right through that top of the key range, and just smashed through it. 
closing above the previous week's high. Big time deal. But here's the key, especially for those of you that are in our Pivot Boss Masters and our premium trading room, etc. Uh, you know this is what we look for. It's this midpoint. So if price cannot reject that point, it can get above it. But if there's acceptance and price doesn't get back below it, it's over. It's over. Price, nine times out of ten, will push through that recent high and continue. Um, so that's when we switched gears and started looking to the squeeze side. Uh, it was that early on. So understanding your approach, understanding what are your triggers so that you can look for those signs where this thing is turning on you. Because this was a pretty significant rejection top at a key level. And to push through that midpoint is very, very bullish. So you have to switch sides right away. So this thing has been very bullish. We've gotten a swift push through uh, 1280 into 1290. And I mentioned before that whenever price was able to establish above 65s, we were likely going to see a move into 1300 to 1306. So now we're already starting that move. I would say the next pullback offers a, a pullback uh, opportunity for a, a shot at pushing this thing into 1300 to 1306. So we'll be watching likely for a quiet day today. After two days of aggressive trending behavior, we may see a little bit of uh, a pullback toward 1280 and a, and a range established. But overall, uh, the next pullback toward 64 or shy of that level could be a great buy into 1300 or 1306. So looking at this in an intraday real quick. Right here, this is basically the previous session's high. Uh, and at the moment, we're kind of forming a little bit of an expanding range. So I would say a rejection up here in the 1289 to 1290 zone offers an opportunity to push this thing back toward 80. Uh, 384, that could provide an opportunity back up, uh, but we could get as low as 80 as well. So I, I believe a trading range may form up here and it could continue to cone outward. So this type of action uh, and it likely stay shy of 1280 for the day. All right, let's take a look lastly at ZB. Here's a look at ZB. Um, that's the intraday. So if we kind of zoom out to the higher time frame, you can see that ZB has a very, very similar look to gold, uh, wherein I said this was a major rejection. Most times when you hold that level, the midpoint on the retest here, it's an opportunity to continue downward. The stops are ready for it. But again, look at the midpoint. There's the midpoint. It was also prior highs. When price pushed through that zone, the idea that this was a top was now gone. It was now gone. So um, this was a great area where there were lots of buy stops. Bulls took advantage, and the squeeze has been significant. Right into 154.07, our key level above, which is an edge key level from a key range, or the 100%. So right here you can see that's the key range, that's the 100% key level, and that's right where we're at. That's where resistance has been this entire time. And what I've mentioned before is when price can finally push through that level is when we'll finally make a move to 160. Uh, and right now, we continue to hold below that zone at the moment. You've seen quite a bit of resistance up here. Uh, and we'll see how price plays out. But right now, we are at and around significant uh, resistance and we could see two-way trade up here as this thing holds. Uh, very similarly, we're in a very bullish uptrend. The next pullback could be a last-ditch effort to see if we can get a squeeze through 54s. Otherwise, back toward 149.24 may be the ticket here, back toward the center point. Um, all right, looking at the intraday time frame real briefly, you'll see again Trading range activity at the moment, that's likely to be the case throughout much of the day. So fading the edges, right now it's 153.24 on, on the top side, 154.07, 154.08. Uh, and, and that's an opportunity to fade, right? So any new high, new low, fade it. You can see a little balanced profile right here. And uh, any failure to hold 153.21 will open up a move to 5-day VPOC. That's 152.28. Oh, and one quick announcement. If you haven't been to the new Pivot Boss Masters website, check it out. You go to pivotbossmasters.com. Uh, tells more about what we do here with regards to our training for traders. But uh, I wanted to make a quick announcement here. If you look at news here and scroll down, you'll go to our latest news. I wanted to 
show off that we do finally have Ninja Trader 7 indicators, uh, Pivot Boss indicators for NT7. You can click on that link and read a little bit more about it here. A lot of great news here. So um, great things coming for those of you that are masters. And if you don't know about masters, come over to the PivotBossMasters.com website, check it out, and let me know what you think. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you all next Monday. Have a fantastic rest of your day and have a great weekend. Take care.